because uh, sigma participation in the narbon I line is having group and sigma participation. As you know, we already discussed sigma participation in highly citrine cyclopropyl ring. Instability of carbocate ion where CC hyperconjugation and relief in ring citrine lead to the formation of carbocate ion with enhanced stability. We also already explained and discussed pi participation in narbonyl system where pi electrons between carbon number 5 and 6 remotely assist and participate in stability of carbocate ion by producing a non-classical carbonium ion. But this time we have narbonyl system without pi electrons and the living group is a carbon number 2. In 1949, Winstein observed the optically active and enantiomerically pure exotone arbonyl brosylate and endotone arbonyl brosylate upon acetylysis produce the same product without any optical activity that is the racemic mixture with the dominantly, predominantly the exo to narbonyl acetate. It was later concluded that the reaction must go through a common cationic intermediate which is symmetrical in nature and predominant exoreactivity whereas the endoreactant go slower with slow rate of reaction to produce the same carbocation. From this slide you can understand the endoreactant in endoreactant the antibonding orbital lies vertically and inaccessible to sigma electrons between carbon number 1 and 2. Therefore, the living group lives on its own without any sigma participation to produce a non-classical carbocate ion, which further can be stabilized in second step by sigma participation to produce another secondary carbocate ion that eventually transform by producing pi bond and carbocate ion at carbon number 6. This carbocate ion, although primary in nature, is still stable due to the pi participation from the neighboring pi electrons. The, in the end, first step without sigma participation to produce classical carbocate ion which is localized on single carbon, then in second step eventually transform to uh, that eventually uh, lead to the neighboring group participation in second step to produce a non-classical carbocate ion in the end. So the rate of reaction through the endoreactant is very slow as compared to the exoreactant is in exoreactant the antibonding orbital lies very close and accessible to sigma electrons between carbon number 1 and 6 to produce a non-classical carbocate ion in first step with a low rate of uh, with high rate of reaction and a low activation energy to produce a non-classical carbocate ion. This non in this non-classical carbocate ion, the positive charge is delocalized between carbon number 1, 2, and 6, and the carbon-containing carbocate ion is hypervalent. This non-classical carbocate ion is symmetrical in nature if we draw a plane passing between carbon number 1, 2, 4, and 5, and passing through the carbon number 7 divides the molecule into two equal halves. Therefore, 
any substance or any molecule having any element of symmetry cannot be optically active or they cannot lead to an optically active product. Therefore, the racemization takes place due to equal chance for acetate ion to be captured by the carbocation either at carbon number 1 or carbon number 2 from the exophase, whereas the endophase or the other phase of molecule is uh, blocked due to the bridging interaction. Therefore, the product showed no optical activity due to equimolar, due to presence of equimolar proportion of both R and S in instrument. Similarly, when optically active exoreactant, either R or S, was subjected for acetylysis again first the symmetrical carbocate ion was produced by either of these reactants the carbocate ion is same in concern independent of the starting material to produce again a racemic mixture of both R and S we move on to few more examples of Narbonyl system to study the sigma participation. This time, there is cyclopropyl ring between carbon number 5 and 6 in different orientation. Either it can be exo or endo with it can have different relationship with the substituent, either it can be syn or anti. The most reactive of the intermediate among all these is the anti and endo because the cyclopropyl provide its sigma electron and get engaged in sigma participation only through the edge which is the fusion point between cyclopropyl and narbonyl system. This edge can easily transfer its electron density to the antibonding orbital through the diagonal angle, whereas in case of uh, exo-orientation, the edge bond cannot easily provide its electron density to the antibonding orbital of living group because of hindrance by other substituent or ring residues. Therefore, the rate of reaction in anti and endo is 10 raised to power 12, whereas anti and exo is only 1. Whereas the rate of reaction in syn endo, although the endo orientation is favored, but due to uh, presence of orbital on opposite side, this endo uh, cyclopropyl cannot provide its electron into the end one orbital easily. Therefore, the living group first leaves on its own to produce a classical carbocation that can then be stabilized in second step by sigma participation. So the rate of reaction is definitely much more slower than its anti-reactant. Similarly, the syn and exo, the rate of reaction is better as anti and exo because in anti and exo, although there is no any sigma participation. Similarly, the incoming acetate or nucleophile, there is hindrance due to the cyclopropyl ring. But in this case, SN2 reaction is possible between acetate and the living group is in SN2 reaction without any hindrance. 
सो देर इज नो हिंड्रेंस आप देख रहे हैं यहाँ पे कोई हिंड्रेंस नहीं है एसन टू रिएक्शन हो रहा है लिविंग ग्रुप आंस से निकल रहा है तो हाँ प्रोडक्ट इजली प्रोड्यूस होगा बट इन एन टी एंड एक्सो आउ दो बहुत आर एक्सो बट द लिविंग ग्रुप इज एन टी एन टी होने की वजह से जाहिर सी बात है एन टी और बॉन्डिंग ऑर्बिटाल अपोजिट साइड पर मौजूद है तो एसिटेट जब अपोजिट साइड से आएगा तो एसिटेट के लिए चांस कम है हिंड्रेंस है कि वो एंटी बॉन्डिंग ऑर्बिटाल को ईजिली अप्रोच करके इलेक्ट्रॉन प्रोवाइड करे और बॉन्ड इस्टेब्लिश करे देर फोर दिस रिंग इज हिंड्रिंग इनकमिंग एसिटेट इन एंटी एंड एक्सो दैट्स वाई द रेड ऑफ रिएक्शन इज ओनली वन वेर इज इन सिन एंड एक्सो The rate of reaction is 10 to the power of 4, much more better than anti and exo because acetate can easily access the anti bonding orbital of a living group without any hindrance. So, uh, as we were discussing uh, the sigma participation of cyclopropyl ring. between carbon number 5 and 6 behave as the pi bond and it provides electron from the edge and not from the other faces therefore uh, you can see the cyclopropyl ring behave as pi electrons to stabilize the carbocation a uh, few more example uh, you can see here whatever the living group it is independent these are the nosylates these are the brosylate living groups so living group doesn't matter but it should be a better living group whatever brosylate or nosylate nosylate or brosylate in this case first in first if you see the uh, example b and d there is no any assistance from lone pair pi bond or sigma bond therefore the rate of reaction is one in both case cases whereas in case of compound a c and e the rate of reaction is 10 to the power 14 in a because the living group is empty with easy accessible anti bonding orbital and the cyclopropyl is endo which can provide electron density from the edge without any hindrance therefore the rate of reaction is 10 to the power 14 whereas in case of e although the cyclopropyl is endo but the anti bonding orbital of the living group is on opposite face therefore it cannot access the anti bonding orbital in this way the living group lives on its own in first step without any sigma participation when we get the classical carbocation at carbon number 7 then sigma participation take place to produce the stable carbocation therefore the rate of reaction is only 5 in case of c the rate of reaction is, the rate of reaction has decreased to 1/3 even less than 1 because the living group live on its own without any sigma participation because the faces of cyclopropyl is hindering sigma participation from the edge whereas the living group lives on its own first to produce a classical carbocation this classical carbocation is still uh inaccessible for acetate due to the hindrance produced by the cyclopropane ring therefore the rate of reaction is still lower as compared to d 
due to the hindrance by cyclopropyrrhene for incoming nucleophile. So uh, we further uh, understand a few more examples. As you can see in first case, there is no any assistance for carbocate ion stability that can eventually lead to the formation of final product. This is the acetylysis reaction where the rate of reaction is only one. But in next example, as you can see, the rate of reaction raised to 10 raised to power 14 due to the sigma participation from cyclopropyl, which is endo, and the relation with substituent is anti. So this can easily share its electron density for the stability of carbocation to produce the end product with high rate of reaction. In third example, you can see the rate of reaction reduced to one third due to the hindrance caused by cyclopropyl ring, where the living group leaves in first step without any sigma participation, whereas in second step, again, there is no any sigma assistant, rather the cyclopropyl is hindering the incoming Nucleophile, therefore, the rate of reaction further decreased to one third. In the last example, the rate of reaction increased from one to five due to the sigma participation of cyclopropyl from the edge bond, but not in the first step. In the first step, the living group lives without any assistance to produce a carbocation. This carbocation in second step was stabilized by the sigma participation, as in case uh, of second example. And in the end, the final product was produced with relatively better rate of reaction.